cool thing is up here on top of this hill is what they call a piece of heaven. Now this isn't my tent. The river runs down through here. It's so peaceful. These are sugaring lines. There I am. We're headed up to where the, the tent is, up the trail. Staying on some property here. It's kind of really nice. It's kind of like where I stayed. A couple of nights. Beautiful up here in Vermont right now. I want to show you guys all what is up here. You see all these blue lines. Those are maple syrup lines. This is how they get the syrup out of the mountains down to the sugar shack where they boil it all off. Now this isn't my tent. This is something I found you can rent. They set it up. Nice little yurk. Really nice. Zoom right in a little there. We'll go in there and check that out in just a second. But it's all set up. It's huge inside. Come up and get your own little fire pit. And as you can see, there's more of these blue lines running all through the woods. But what I want to show you guys is the most relaxing thing about being up here in Vermont in the woods. Kind of have to watch your step. I'm going to come right down here. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. But it's all the river that runs through. And as you can see, the river runs down through here. It's so peaceful, so calming. And when you stay in the we go Yurko over there. This is what you hear at nighttime. Talk about peace and quiet. Talk about serenity and just relaxation. It's really good for the mind. Then it just goes all the way down. It's what they call a piece of heaven. Water flows down through the mountains in this canyon ravine. Comes right down through. As you can see, drops right down through. It is just so peaceful, so relaxing. And this part here is the swimming hole. Now, it's not that deep where you can actually dive in, but if you take your chair on a hot summer day and you sit right down in there in your chair, the mountain water is probably about 50 some odd degrees. It feels really good. It is actually beautiful, folks. Seeing it on camera is one thing. Getting out into nature and enjoying yourself is a whole nother ball game. I would highly suggest that you all take the time to get out and visit nature. 
It's a good clearing your mind experience. These are sugaring lines. You guys want to know where your maple sugar comes from? All up in these mountains. They're everywhere. All right, and let's proceed back up. And you're going to do any type of outdoors things. Make sure you have the proper footwear. You're going to need it. One thing to remember, some of these places throw in your own porta potty. So you don't have to worry about trying to figure out where you're going to go to the bathroom, whatever. You know, these are usually preset. This way here, you have the accommodations. You can come over here and use the restroom instead of having to try to figure out where you're going to go to the bathroom and what you're going to do and all that kind of stuff. It's a very good blessing, especially if you have a family and you want to get out and you want to enjoy the nature of this world. Now we're going to go in here. Real thick canvas. I mean, it's a real, real. It's a four season tent. Believe it or not, folks, you can rent these things year round. Let's step inside. Right here. If it's cold enough, you put together your wood stove which goes right up into this area here. You can heat that's inside of this thing. It comes with a battery bank. All right, you get a Jackery. It's a 250 watt battery bank. They supply you with, as I've done videos on, your Coleman stove. They supply you with a solar panel. You get a chair. This here is my backpack. I brought this along. It's got a lot of different gear in it. You're gonna see a little bit more about this here coming up soon. This is a really good backpack. Tasmanian Tiger. All right, and I'm gonna be doing reviews on this pack and talking more about this pack at a later date. But they supply you with all kinds of stuff in here, folks. You have stuff for the tiki torches outside, pots, pans, um, the whole nine yards. Got a queen size bed. You got lights, there's lights everywhere. Plenty of room for two people. I would say even if you were a family of four and wanted to get away and do something, this thing would be great. You could put a couple of air mattresses down, plenty of room, move this chair. You'd have plenty of room and your whole family can stay in something like this. You know, this is just something that you can rent. Not only in the state of Vermont, but throughout the country, I've been doing some research. These things are awesome. So, thank you for joining me on the tour of the Yurk. As you can see, plenty of ventilations, all those open up. If it is real hot, you can take and open the whole bottom all the way around and get plenty of ventilation in this unit. So this is something that you all should really think about. Get out to nature, get out and enjoy yourself. And when you walk out of this one, well, there I am. So until next time, folks, thank you for taking a little trip on my little Yurik I had for the weekend for my son's wedding way up in the mountains of Vermont. I hope you all stay safe. You keep prepping. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.